Darren Fox, the outstanding point guard for the Sacramento Kings, won't let a finger injury prevent him from playing in an important Game 5 clash against the Golden State Warriors. Fox informed reporters on Tuesday that despite having a fractured index finger on his left hand, he is 99-100% to going to play on Wednesday. Fox added that this injury would probably cause a week or two absence if it occurred during the regular season, but he feels he can take the floor given the playoff circumstances. The 2023 All-Star Guard and reigning Clutch Player of the Year is averaging 31.5 points, 7.0 assists, and 6.0 rebounds through the first four games of the series, which is tied 2-2 with both teams winning each of their home games. Predict in the comments section how much playing time will Fox have in Games 5 and 6. The Golden State Warriors and Sacramento Kings has been the most exciting first round in this year's playoffs across the league. According to Programming Insider, Sports Media Watch. Game 4 of Warriors and Kings on ABC Network was the most watched NBA playoffs first round game on any network in 21 years. Since 2002 Kobe and Shaq led Lakers vs Blazers. Average audience of 7,523,000 viewers, peaking with 10,406,000 viewers at 6 p.m. Since 2015, 27 NBA games have drawn over 14 million viewers. Stephen Curry was featured in all 27. Steph has also been featured in 32 out of all 33 NBA games with 13 plus million viewers in that span. This doesn't even include last year's Game 6 versus Boston, which was at 13.99, very, very close to making it on the initial list. Are people still in doubt that Steph Curry is the face of the league? A video surfaced Warriors veteran leader Andre Iguodala talking to Jonathan Kuminga on the bench in Game 4. Speculation around is that the 20-year-old forward is not happy with the amount of playing time he's getting in this Sacramento series. The seventh overall pick of 2021 draft is only averaging 12.5 minutes per game, 6.8 points per game, 0.3 rebounds, 0.5 assist, 0.3 blocks, 50% field goal, 33.3% in three-point range. In the April 1st games of the playoffs, he only played three minutes in game four. In your opinion, what are the reasons behind Kerr's decision not to play Jonathan Kuminga in game four? Barnes had just missed a chance to win Game 4 of the Sacramento Kings' first-round series against the Warriors when Draymond made his remarks on the most recent episode of the Draymond Green Show podcast. Green said in the podcast, Barnes did not invite Draymond to his wedding, where he invited Steph, Clay, and even Richard Jefferson. In 2016, Draymond Green pushed the Golden State Warriors to sign Kevin Durant, which led to Harrison Barnes going with the Dallas Mavericks in free agency. According to Green, Barnes is still upset with him for that. The Warriors' acquisition of Durant in the summer of 2016 has long been attributed to Green. KD's arrival forced Barnes to leave the team, which he helped carry to back-to-back -back NBA Finals in 2015 and 16. Barnes moved to the Dallas Mavericks and in 2019 traded to the Sacramento Kings, the Warriors have done everything they can to preserve the continuity of Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green as their championship-winning trio for as long as they can. However, many believe that Warriors forward Draymond Green, who has a $27.6 million player option for the 2023-24 NBA season, could be moving on this summer. Green averaged 8.5 points, 7.2 rebounds, and 6.9 assists in 73 games this season. With Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins' new extensions kicking in next season. The Warriors are projected to be around $49 million over the $162 million luxury tax threshold, which could be a potential obstacle to retaining Green. The four time All Star forward will probably be interested in a comeback as long as Curry and Thompson are still on the team, if the Warriors can afford him for next season. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for daily Golden State Warriors content. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with new videos.